Hello, I'm Pam, and welcome back. So, you know, I've been kind of debating whether I really want to continue doing videos. Because I, I just don't know. I'm just... It's kind of difficult. But it is what it is. So, I'm actually going to show you some fabrics that I recently picked up. Um, I have so much fabric and I go and buy more, but I did go to Walmart and Sewing Janie, um, Barbara from Sewing Janie, she has gone to Walmart several times and found some great deals. So I went to Walmart, yeah. Well, and also Viv Mom. She has got some great deals at Walmart. But I went to Walmart and looked at their clearance fabric. Well, their fabrics. It's like the two yards for $2. So, I got this. And it reminds me, it's like a, almost like a rib knit. But it reminds me of a thermal. But it, I think it would be really good as like a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah. So, I actually bought two of these. Two. Yeah. And they actually had three, but I only bought two. I figured four yards should be enough to make, you know, a couple of shirts. And then there was this white sparkly, you know, it kind of has the little holes in it, and I figured that would work good for, like, linings of, like, jackets and different stuff, or even, like, or even, like, the outside of, like, the shorts, like, sportswear that you have the other lining inside, and this could be like the outside part. Because I have another fabric that I got. And it's probably in this bucket somewhere. Yeah. I just buy too much fabric. You know what? I'm going to have to ground myself. Because I have so much stuff to do. And then I go and buy more. Like I have that piece hanging over here. Oh, well, this one is like one of my favorites. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's a little bit see-through. You know, I can kind of see through it. But it's really pretty. I really like it. It's got a nice little shine to it. So, yeah. Just. Like, there's just, like, white, like, denim fabric here. It's really nice. Um, okay, so I got this shirt fabric. It, I don't know what kind of fabric it is, really. It says polyester on, yeah, it says 100% polyester, but I don't know. And it is, has a, not, I guess it doesn't really have too much stretch. It has a little bit, but not much. But it's like a nice, it feels nice, and it's dark navy blue, and I'm thinking I want to make some long sleeve shirts, like polo shirts. Oh, I saw a pattern at a thrift store the other day for polo shirts. I wanted, I so wanted to get it, but I did not because it was for an extra large mint, and that is just not going to work. So what I need to do is go through my many patterns and figure out what pattern I want to use this for. You know, because I want to make, I have little kids and I need to make them some shirts, especially my seven-year-old. And I also have this. This is like a, it's almost... It's like, it looks like a purple blue, but, because when you put it up against this, it looks, 
more purple. Kind of like, I don't know. You know, royal blue? I don't know. It's, it's, it's just a pretty blue. Well, I guess royal is like a light blue. But it's... It's like got a purple tint to it. But it's not purple. Oh, thank you. And then we have this gray fabric here. And it's got... And it's just... It just feels really nice. And granted, it says 100% polyester. But it's... It reminds me of, like, the shirts that... Like, the activewear shirts. You know, I just... I just like it. Okay? So, now I have this. I want to make a blouse. Like, I showed on a pattern... Um this blouse. It's like, kind of like a blouse like this. So I have, back here, I have a fabric that I got a while ago. I'll just reach over to grab it. Yep. <clears throat> See my bone. Alright, so I have this pretty blue fabric. It's like, like a light blue, and it has like little lines in it. So I want to make a blouse, like a blouse like this one that I'm wearing. I made this one, but I want to make one out of this fabric. I think that would be really, really pretty. But I'm thinking if I did a yoke on the back, like do a yoke, because this one does not have a yoke, but do a yoke that has, you know, so kind of alternate the fabric so it kind of has that nice contrast. And then on the sleeve cuffs, you know, make it opposite so i'm thinking maybe put the lines going across and then when the sleeves connected like the lines going up and just a different variations i could do but i really i want to use that and i got that a while ago from a thrift shop for a dollar and there's quite a bit so i went to a different walmart too yeah, and I bought a whole bolt of fabric. No, I went to Walmart yesterday. I saw some fabric on a bolt. And the Walmart I usually go to, they sell fabric, but they don't sell it on the bolts. They don't they don't sell it by the yard type. You can't like go and say, Oh, I want five yards of this or two yards of this. It's like all you know, pre packaged type thing. But I guess they must have made a mistake and gotten bolts of fabric and now they have to like clearance it off and they had some pontiroma like some navy blue pontiroma and i was like i that's pretty nice fabric and they had some sequin fabric too and i'm like those are really pretty but did i buy any no i resisted yay good for me but it was tempting so, but the other day I went to other Walmart that sells fabric by the yard bolt type thing. Because the one Walmart I go to, usually, they don't have fabrics like this. But, so I went to a couple other Walmarts that are in my town. So, I was at one Walmart. And I saw this. It's a grab and go five yards for five bucks. And it says it's 100% polyester, but I think they say that for everything. But it's like this blue sparkly, you know, and it just reminds me of a sweater, you know, like a loose fitting sweater. And I just, I could have left it behind, but I just couldn't. So well, the next one I have is this. And you probably wonder, what is she going to do with that? Well, I have some old towels that I'm going to cut up. And I want to sew them together. Well, sew around them, but add like this little scrubbing pad to them. Um... And I think that would be really nice. And I saw this fabric and I'm like, oh, 
I'm going to buy that because I want to do a like, little scrubby pad type thing. Oh, and here's that other fabric. Another gray fabric. And it was four yards for $4. And it kind of has that moisture wickening, like, um, I don't know if you can see that. It has, like, little dots and lines. Um, so one side, it's, like, the outside. This other side goes on the inside. And I think that would be nice, too. I would probably make a good, like, polo, like, you know, tie-type shirt. Well, I guess buttons have shirts. Let's see, did I have any more fabrics? Oh, yes, there they are. So, I saw this one at Walmart. And it's like got like the gold little dots. And it's sparkly. And I thought about leaving it behind. Because it was $2 a yard. It's two yards for $4. But... I saw it, and I just, I couldn't leave it. I, I just couldn't. I guess that's why I'm a fabriholic, right? It's because I see fabric, and then I have to have it. And I don't know why I had to have that particular one, but I did. So I also saw this corduroy. This is a corduroy with, like, the little check print type stuff but it's corduroy and my little boy saw this and I showed it to him and handed it to him and he grabbed it and he hugged it and put it in the cart so two yards for four dollars so they're you know it's more expensive but two dollars for a yard and it's corduroy and I'm thinking I want to make him a, I want to make him like a pair of pants or something, or even overalls. I don't know. I, I need to think of it. Or, yeah, I need to think about that. Well, there was, yeah, this other black fabric was two yards for two bucks. So I really, I saw that and I thought it was great. So I have a bunch of thrifted fabrics two that I bought from the store but I am not going to get mm -hmm. into that right now I will get into that later but those are my fabrics that I picked up recently from Walmart and now I did get a whole thing of tool from the Walmart that doesn't sell fabrics on the bowl so says 97 cents and it's 20 yards so they probably really didn't want to sell this for 97 cents but being how they had it marked and it didn't have anywhere on the heading per yard so they had kind of had to sell it to me for 97 cents so I got 20 yards of this tool and it's 53 to 54 inches wide and 20 yards long. And then when I was going through my patterns that I was showing, I saw that one of the patterns takes tool, like the, the stuff to, for like the, to make it kind of fluff up like the petticoat type part. So I thought that was was a good thing that I got that. And when I went back yesterday, they did have more of that. I thought about grabbing the other bolt because they only had two bolts. I thought about grabbing the other bolt and seeing if I could get that for a dollar also, but I did not. I left it there. So I think that's all for my Walmart haul. That I have done over the last couple weeks. And I think I just need to stop buying fabrics. What I really need to do is just get busy making stuff. I have been busy upstairs. Working on the family room. Getting that all squared away. And so I got that done. Finally. So now I can get in back into sewing and getting this done. 
Because <clears throat> I could really use a new wardrobe, right? Yeah. I wear the same thing every day. Like, I have a couple outfits that I've made, but I need something new. So, I will chat at you later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.